us to another episode in a series of episodes in which we continue looking at the August 2024 Mathematics paper team. If you haven't seen the other episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the right hand side of your screen. In this app, you are going to find a lot of materials that are going to be helpful to you. You are going to find quizzes based on the topical exam pass papers. You are going to find over 10,000 questions with few solutions, instant solution and detailed explanation. We look at question 8. Question 8a. A fair die is rolled once. Find the probability of a 4 showing up. So that's question M. For us to answer this question, let me use this space this side. So this will be M. So we have probability that X is equal to 4 will be equal to the number of time that the first 4 is showing up divided by the number of faces on the, the dice, which is the sample size. Now a dice has got six faces where the outcome could be a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5 or 6. So what's the chance that when we lower a dice once we we'll get a 4? Four? 4 can only appear once. Out of how many possibilities? 6 possibility. So meaning we are going to have 1 which is getting a 4 out of how many outcomes that we can get, we can get, get either a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. So out of 6 possible outcomes. So this is the probability. This is how simple you answer this question. So just understanding the possible outcome that you can get when you roll a dice. There are 6 possible outcomes. And out of those possible outcomes, we have a 4 as one of the possible outcomes. So it's 1 out of 6. Then we look at question B. In the diagram below, ABC is a straight line. AD equals 5 cm, BD equals 13 cm, and angle BAD equals 90 degrees. Find the value of tan DBC. So that angle is this angle, the outer angle. So we have the interior angle and exterior angle. So for us to find that angle, we need to know the interior angle. We need to know this angle in terms of the tan. So once we know that interior angle, we just find the negation of that angle. So this is B. Let me start from here. So B, we are looking for tan. D, B, C, and this tan is the same as negative tan D, B, A. So we just need to find the tan of the interior angle, which is this angle, using the famous Sokotoa, then we negate it. Once we do that, then we would have answered the, the question. Again, this question always comes, even in the previous paper, which is the internal 2023, this question was there. Even in the GC, it was there. So once you get this principle, this question should again always be a walkover for you. So how can we find the tan of this angle? So we use the famous Sokotoa. Sokotoa. So Sokotoa. So it's the tan opposite, then divided by adjacent. So what is the opposite? So the opposite side is this side. That's the opposite to that angle. Then what is the adjacent? So the adjacent is the angle down to the 90 degrees. So this is the 90 degrees. So the adjacent is this side. This is the opposite. So once we have that, then 
we can answer this question properly. So we know the opposite. So the opposite is given. We need to find the adjacent, which is missing. So to find the adjacent, we use the famous Pythagorean theory. So this is the longest distance. So the longest distance is 13, which is the hypotenuse. So what we have is we have the longest distance, which is in this case. So this side is so this side is actually D, then this side is this is A, small a, then this is B. So B is the opposite. So B is given to us and A is given to us. So we need to find D. So to find D, use D square plus so which is adjacent plus the opposite which is B square must equal to the hypotenuse which is A square. So what are we looking for? A is given to us, which is 13. B is given to us, which is a 5. We're looking for D. So to find D, D square is equal to A square. Then this one crosses the equal sign, becomes a negative, so minus B square. What we can do now is substituting. We have 13 square minus, what is B is a 5 square. So we have 169 minus 25, which is 144. Then this is d square. So to find d, we just find the square root. The square root, since it's a positive, so this is supposed to be 12 centimeter. So now we found this to be 12 centimeter. So once we know that is 12 centimeter, the next thing that we need to do now is just now find the interior angle. So the, the turn of an interior angle is equal to the negative of the turn of the exterior angle or the other way around. So why is that the case? It's the case because, so because we use this quadrant, all students take chemistry. So what it means is if this side is a positive, then the other side is a negative. So we have, in this case, all of them are positive, which is turn, cosine, and the sine. In the other quadrant, sine is positive. So if in the other one is positive, then it means cos and sine they are negative. So you only be asked to find the cos or tangent in the second quadrant because here they are negative. So is that principle that you use. So now what we do at this point is just now find this. So I can use this space here. So tan dbc is equal to negative. So using Sokatoa, what is the opposite to this one? What's the opposite? It's a 5. So minus 5 over what's the adjacent, which is 12. So you see, 12. So we have minus 5 over 12. That is our answer. So once you do that, then you are good to go you get these two marks. So I've taken a bit of time to understand, to explain what I give you the context. Once you understand the context, you're good to go. So join me in the next episode as we look at question nine.